Detroit story about how the football player also ended up singing background on an iconic gold record. I'm Len Barney, former Detroit Lion, number 20. First 20 from the B category, Barney, Billy, and Barry Sanders. <laughs> Ooh, yes, same background with Marvin Gaye on the What's Going On now. Brother, brother, brother. Meeting Marv, I left training camp one day uh, during my uh, second year with the Detroit Lions and went out because they told me he was at Palmer Park. He played a lot of golf at Palmer Park. To bring some love in here today. And so I said, well, this is going to be a chance to, for me to go out and meet him. So after morning practice out at Cranbrook, where we had our practice during training camp, I left there and came down Woodward Avenue, 7 Mile, Palmer Park, right there on the left as I turned in. And I went and asked the uh, manager, was Marvin Gaye out playing today? And they looked on the roll. He said, no, he's not playing today, sir. But if you go down, continue down 7 Mile, he's second block on out of drive. I hit the doorbell. And it's a chime, bling, bloom, 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 bling, bloom. And as I'm waiting, uh, it stopped, and I was getting ready to hit it again. And all of a sudden, the door opened. It's Marvin. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? And he said, yeah, man, what's up, man? I said, uh, I said, look, Mr. Gay, I said, my name is Lem Barney, man, and I just come by there just to tell you what a great uh, musician and, and entertainer I think you are. He said, who'd you say you are? I said, Lem Barney. He said, not the guy that played with the Lions. I said, yeah. He said, man, you're too small, man. I said, no, it's me, man. He said, well, come on in. I said, okay, I just, just wanted to stop by and just to talk to you, man. I've appreciated you, and I love your music, and I think you're a great, 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 a great singer, man. He said, well, I like that, man. He said, I think you're a pretty good ball player, too. I saw some of your preseason games. To bring some love in here today. So we must have talked about an hour and a half and all of a sudden I look at my watch I got 35 minutes before the second practice was to be done and I got to leave there and get out to Cranbrook I must have ran every red light on Woodward we exchanged numbers and uh, from there we made contact from time to time brother, come talk to me, brother. Marvin started going to the games on Sunday and afterwards we'd go to different restaurants for dinner and the wives and the team and all and uh, Marvin would go with us and sometime he would entertain. Yeah, 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 yeah. One day we was over at Marvin's and uh, he, he was going through what he was getting ready to record. He said, all right, Lim, you and Mel, come on, come on, go with me. I said, where are you going? He said, we're going over and record this. I said, okay. Well, we'd been over there before with him, but there wasn't no we in it. Hey, what's up, man? Lim, you take this part, and Mel, you take this part, right on. You know, I said, wow, you, you, you recording this? He said, yeah, you're going to be on a record. Yeah, hey, brother, like solid, right on. So when, when it first comes, say, brother, what's up? Yeah, brother, like solid, right on. Sweet gaze. It, it came out to be a smash. I mean, you know, I didn't think nothing was going to come out of it, but it was a joy for the both of us, and then received a gold record. I mean, hey, it's like Super Bowl. <laughs> Get the football. Come on with it. It was a joy for me to have met Marvin, and uh, the relationship that we established was just a, like a dream come true. I think that I got to put that on the top of football. Because... <laughs> Best I did in football was made seven Pro Bowls. One playoff in my 11-year career. <laughs> one singing background, I got a gold record, so. <laughs> Good stuff, man. I love you too, man.